Houston Federal Credit Union, Marriott Houston West Chase, the Memorial Hermann Healthcare System, Raising Canes, Under Armour, Firehouse Subs, Pepsi, Shipley Donuts, Four Points by Sheraton, IBEW Local 716, Jimmy John's, Kalachi Factory, and Holiday Inn Express. The DNA Husky Sports Network is your home all season long for Huskies women's basketball. And right now it's just about game time, so let's head out to the arena. Hey, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Sharp Gym for this Southland Conference matchup between your HBU Huskies and the New Orleans Privateers, each team looking for its first conference victory this year after dropping the first conference opener on Wednesday night. If you look at, at the standings in the Southland Conference, Stephen F. Austin, it, Abilene Christian, Lamar, Texas A&M Corpus Christi, Nichols, and Incarnate Word all pulling off victories on opening night. With Sam Houston State idols, and so they're at 0-0. Zero zero. Central Arkansas, HBU, Northwestern State, Southeastern, New Orleans and McNeese all dropping their opener. So one of these two teams will get their first win of the season to start off conference play. When we come back, we will try to get you the starting lineups and then take a look around the league again. This is Russ Renault. You are watching the Husky Sports Network here on YouTube. Tammy and I have been going steady since high school. Tammy and Tommy, two peas in a pod, as they say. We have all the same friends. We like all the same things. I mean, we practically even have the same name. But there's one thing we could just never agree on. Soda. I have been begging him all these years to just try Pepsi, and I knew he would change his tune. Yeah, yeah. So, finally, I had him take the Pepsi taste challenge. And go on, tell him what you told me, Tommy. I'm a Pepsi man. Mmm. Right? Gosh, isn't Pepsi so good? I tell you what, I don't know why I didn't try it sooner. Me neither. It's so crisp and refreshing and bubbly. Like me. Like you. I'm always right. She's always right. <laughs> All across the South, people are choosing the great taste of Pepsi. Take the Pepsi Taste Challenge and let your taste decide. <laughs> Rush for no back here at Sharp Gym. Just about five minutes away from tip-off here between HBU and UNO. Take a look at what happened on Wednesday night. The Huskies falling 63-50 to at Lamar. And Megan Valdez Crater leading the Huskies with 19 points. And Veronica Kirienko adding 10 for HBU. And UNO in their opener fell 59-52 to Abilene Christian at home. Take a look at the leaders for the Privateers. Shania Woods with 15 points and Larry Whitley with nine and Jada Duncantell also with nine. About ready for the national anthem. We'll take a break and come back here on the Husky Sports Network.
Unlike connected footwear, you can leave your phone behind. However, if you choose to run with it, the UA Map My Run app will give map views of your route and a deeper look at your workout with additional stats. We are under armor. The future is ours. Under Armour. What does it mean to be Southland strong? It's not just big wins. It's success in the classroom. And being engaged with service. Family. Passion. Integrity. Overcoming adversity. Hard work and dedication. Bettering people around you. Striving for excellence. Leadership and competition. On our campuses. And in our communities. We are Southland strong. Russ Renault back at Sharp Gym, and we'll get you the starting lineups for each team. First, for visiting UNO, Jada Duncan Dell, 5'4", sophomore guard from Natchitoches. Then another guard, Trya Bruce, a 5'7", freshman guard from Cutoff, Louisiana. DeAndre Thomas, 5'6", sophomore guard from Thibodeau. And Shania Woods, 6'1", senior center from Cypress, Texas. And Larry Whitley, 6'1", junior forward from Rain, Louisiana, and four of your HBU Huskies. Starting at guard, 5'4", from Goodyear, Arizona, Takara Wade. Also at guard, 5'9", junior from Austin, Sophie Taylor. Another guard, 5'5", from San Antonio, Megan Valdez Crater. 6'1", junior forward from Helensburg, Australia, Lauren Calva. And in the middle, senior center, Veronica Kirienko, 6'4", from Tashkent, Uzbekistan. So it'd be Kirienko and Woods to jump it off. Kirienko on your left, Woods on your right, UNO in blue, Huskies in white. Huskies will be going left to right, New Orleans going right to left. Here to start off the first period. There's the jump and the Huskies win it, Taylor has it. Valdez Crater on the far side, looking inside. Now Taylor in the corner, back up top. Now Calvert tries to go over the top. Kirienko has it, and spinning in the lane, and she traveled. So a turnover to start it off in the first possession for the Huskies. Now a little bit of a press here by HBU, full court. Now Duncan Tell will bring it up. Now driving over is Thomas, puts it up and in off the window. Now there's Crater over towards the corner. Taylor looking inside, pulls it back out. Now Valdez Crater driving in and a reach foul. It's gonna be on Trier Bruce, first foul of the game for either side. Now Wade looking in, now inbounds it to Taylor. Taylor driving baseline, puts it up and off the glass and in, we're tied. Nice move by Sophie Taylor going baseline. And the far side over to Bruce. A little jumper by Larry, now puts it back up and now the rebound by Calvert. So Whitley Larry, number 32. And Wade driving in, got another foul on the privateers. It's gonna be on number one, Jada Duncan Tell. Valdez Crater to inbound on the baseline. Now Calver, just beyond the free throw line, jumper good. Now Duncan Tell bringing it back up. Looking inside to Larry and 
Kirienko guarding her. Now trying to go inside to Woods. Calvert guarding her. Three-pointer on the way is no good. And then Valdez Crater pulls down the rebound. And she'll bring the ball up, crossing midcourt. Calvert looking in, driving baseline. Now gets Kirienko up and under move off the glass and in. And a timeout call by UNO. So we will take a break here on the Husky Sports Network. 8.01 to go. Huskies leading at 6-2. to two. participate in the HBU Alumni Association. Your Alumni Association actively supports the growth, retention, and ranking of our school by our scholarship efforts. Husky Alumni Network volunteers actively work to recruit the best and brightest to HBU, and we promote and support programs intended to build a growing network of people committed to quality, higher Christian education through our alumni scholarship efforts. We also work to strengthen the bond between our university and the community, and we're your connection to over 18,000 fellow alumni, mostly in and around the Houston metro area. Log on to learn more about our mission and your privileges and benefits at hbu.edu slash alumni. And find us via social media on Facebook at the Houston Baptist University Alumni Association page and on Twitter and Instagram at hbu underscore alumni. But no matter how you do it, connect with the HBU Alumni Association because a strong alumni base equals a strong HBU. Back here at Sharp Gym with 8.01 to go in the first period. HBU out to a 6-2 lead over New Orleans. Come back out for the Huskies, same five. Carl Wade, Veronica Kirienko, Lauren Calver, Sophie Taylor, and Megan valdez Crater. Uh, one change for the Privateers with Rahima Franklin coming into the game of point guard in place of Duncan's help. Everybody else the same for UNO. Now driving in is Thomas, tipped, and maintaining control is Larry. Now Franklin directing traffic over on the far side to Bruce, and off her foot and out of bounds, stays with UNO. Eight seconds on the shot clock, 7.40 to go in the period. And Franklin gets it in up top to Thomas. Thomas driving in, pushes off, throws it up, and the rebound to Kirienko. Taylor gets it over to Valdez Crater. Calling out the play on the far side in front of the UNO bench. Now driving in, puts it up off the glass, and a foul is called. Another foul on Trya Bruce. That's her second. Now it's going to bring a substitution. Free throws for Valdez Crater. And first free throw is no good. Going to have Alyssa quickly coming in for the Privateers. 5'9", junior guard from St. Augustine, Florida, re replacing Bruce, who has two fouls. Aldez Crater puts it up and in, and the Huskies lead by five. Now Thomas here on the near side, trying to look into Woods, but Kirienko has her covered. Now Woods... Has it tipped away, it's off Kirienko and stays with UNO. Now Woods coming into the game averaging 14.1 points per game. And the Huskies have had her bobbled up here in the early going. Now that one is off of Quixley and out of bounds to HBU. Now we've got another sub for UNO with Laquella Penton coming in, 5'6", senior guard from Lafayette, taking the place of Rahima Franklin. Now Wade will bring it up for HBU. Gets it to Kirienko, just beyond the free throw line. Taylor kicking it back out to Calvert. Little give and go, couldn't get the go. Now Taylor beyond three-point line, driving in, spins, lays it up. It's off the glass and no good, and rebounded by Woods coming up behind and it just pulls the ball up before Taylor was able to swipe it away. Now over to Quixley. 
Looking in, gets it to Woods over the top, lays it up, and it's no good. Woods gets the rebound. We've got a foul called inside. It's going to be on Lauren Calver, her first. First foul on the Huskies. Huskies still leading 7-2, to two, six and a half to go. Ball inbounded to Quixley. Now Pimpton. Hand and getting the handoff, driving in, pulling up. Throws it right to Wade. Wade gathers, driving in. It's about one on three right there, but gets it over to Taylor. But Kirienko stepped in front of it. Taylor was going to have a wide open look at a three. Taylor with quickly guarding her. 15 on the shot clock. Now looking in to Kirienko. Back up top to Calvert. Went, tried to go over the top. Steps in, was tripped. Gathers up off the glass and in. Calver was driving in. Thomas fell down. Thomas stuck her leg out. The officials didn't see it. But Calver gets the basket, and the Huskies lead by seven. Up top to Quixley, knocked away by Valdez Crater. Got bumped, stays in bounds, drives in. There's the foul. Valdez Crater with the hustle, took a bump, and, and then they finally called it down on the baseline. That's on Alyssa Quixley, her first foul. And now Taylor Call Morgan comes in for HBU. Six foot sophomore forward from right here in Houston in Second Baptist High School. That'd be Taylor inbounding to Kirienko. Gets it up top to Wade. Wade driving in past Call Morgan's screen. Up off the glass, no good. Kirienko with the rebound. Tries to go back up with it, and she's fouled. That's going to be Woods with the foul. Five fouls now on UNO. We're going to have a line change with five new players coming in for the Privateers after this first free throw. First one up and good. So we're going to have Asia Woods coming in and Kayla Thomas along with Kyla Malone. we got Annalise Briscoe. And Duncan Tell back into the game as well. Karienko, both free throws good. Huskies lead by nine. 11 to 2, 5.23 to go here in the first period here in Sharp Gym. Duncan Tell bringing it up. Now Asia Woods, sister of Shania Woods. And that one off the glass and a foul called on Karienko. Asia Woods, 5'11 freshman. She's from Cypress, Texas as well, and Lutheran North High School. He's got free throws coming up for Kyla Malone. So now Asia Woods is coming back to the bench. They had a contact come out, so... She's going to stay at the scorer's table as Shania Woods checked back in briefly, but it's like Asia's going to come right back in. First free throw on the way by Malone is no good. The substitution for the Huskies coming in for Kirienko is Natalia Guarda, 6'3", senior center from Alexandra Pola. Second free throw on the wave by Malone, and that one is good. Husky scored 11 straight points, 11-0 run, giving them an 11-2 lead. Now it's 11-3. Full court press by the Privateers. Valdez Crater in the middle to call Morgan, pulls it up and kicks it back out to Wade. Taylor down on the baseline, the left are all alone, off the glass and in. Taylor waving like a wide receiver. Hey, I'm wide open here, and Takara Wade found her on the baseline. 13 to three, a 10 point lead for HBU. Far side, Duncan Tell now driving the baseline, kicks it inside off the glass and no good, rebounded by Wade. That shot was by Kayla Thomas. Wade on the far side, pulls it back out. Now baseline again to Taylor, same play, other side and is fouled. They just left Taylor all alone on the baseline once again, they just losing sight of her. Just slipping behind the defense right underneath the basket. 
So now that foul on Asia Woods. Huskies in the bonus after that previous foul. Now six fouls on the privateers here in the first period. First free throw by Taylor is good. Five points now for Sophie Taylor. Another free throw on the way. Up and rattles in. 15 to 3 HBU. 4.22 to go in the first period here from Sharp. In the corner to Deontay Thomas. Shot up. No good. Rebounded by Call Morgan. Wade bringing it up. Now coming quickly. Driving in and out to Call Morgan. Three pointer on the way and good. 15 point lead for HBU. Just a blitz after UNO scored the first basket of the game. The Huskies outscoring them 18 to 1. Thomas, no good. Off the bottom of the backboard, touched by Valdez Crater and out of bounds to the Privateers. So now, DeAndre Thomas to inbound. Gets it out to Duncan Tell right here in front of us, just shy of half court. Three pointer on the way by Thomas off the window, no good, but the rebound comes right to Kayla Thomas and puts it up and in for the basket. Kayla Thomas, 6'5, redshirt sophomore center from Philadelphia. Now about does Crater driving in, hands it back off to Call Morgan, up and in with a little jump hook. Five quick points for Call Morgan and another timeout call by the Privateers. It's 20 to five Huskies here with 3.17 to go in the first period. You're watching Huskies basketball on the Husky Sports Network. What's on your mind, kid? Make it fast. I'd like to work here at Jimmy John's World's Greatest Gourmet Sandwich Shop, sir. Why do you want to work at Jimmy John's, kid? I'm perfect for Jimmy John's. Doing what? Delivery. Delivery? Delivery. We deliver pretty fast here at Jimmy John's. That's what I heard. What'd you hear? You deliver pretty fast here at Jimmy John's. Then you heard right. I'm a fast study, sir. You know the Jim John's slogan? The Jimmy John's slogan. Jim John's slogan is sub so fast you'll freak. Sub so fast you'll freak is a slow slogan, sir. When people call for a Jimmy John's sandwich, they want it fast. Then I'm your man, sir. How so? Because I'm fast. Fast at what? Fast at everything. Can you deliver fast? I can deliver fast. How fast? I can run at 440 and 220. Minutes? No seconds. That's fast. You deliver before? I delivered newspapers before. Were you fast? Very fast. How fast? People got tomorrow's paper today. That's fast. So do I have the job? Not so fast. How do I know you're not just some fast talker? I can get your references. When? Now. These are good references. Thank you. But at Jimmy John's, you got to be more than fast. More than fast. you got to be polite. Fast and polite. Fast and polite. I can do fast and polite. Okay, give me some time to think it over. Okay. Okay, I thought it over. When can you start? Now. Now it's good. What's your name, kid? Stefan Amalabadopoulos. Too long. How about Ed? That's fine. Welcome aboard, Ed. Jimmy John's Subs, an official sponsor of HBU Athletics. Back in action here at Sharp Gym. Three minutes to go in the first period. Valdez Crater driving in, lays it up and in. Huskies lead it now by 17. Far side, Duncan Tell. Now puts up a three and no good. Rebounded by Sophie Taylor. Now on the fast break. Now decides to pull it back out. Now knocked away. By Malone and out of bounds to HBU. Got subs in for the Huskies. Amanda Johnson coming in and Kennedy Collins. Amanda Johnson, 6'1", senior guard from Georgetown, Texas. And Kennedy Collins, 6'1", senior center from Bastra. Sophie Taylor to inbound. Gets it in the corner to Johnson. Johnson gets it back to Taylor in the corner. Knocked away. And taken by Malone and UNO coming back the other way. Duncan Tell driving by, uh, driving in the lane, dumps it off to no one. Huskies got a fingertip on it, and it's out of bounds to the Privateers. So stolen by HBU and Takar Wade up ahead to Johnson and knocked away by the Privateers and they can't keep it alive. It'll be Huskies ball. Look at the stats after that first media timeout. Sophie Taylor leading the Huskies with six points. Taylor Call Morgan with five. Calver and Kirienko each with four. And DeAndre Thomas and Kayla Thomas each with two points for the Privateers. 
Sophie Taylor to inbound right in front of the UNO bench. Gets it to Wade, driving baseline. Picks it up, spins around, lays it in. 24-5 to HPU, two minutes to go now here in the first period. Now Duncan Tell, top of the key. Tells Briscoe to lay off. Now driving baseline, drives in, lays it up and in. So another run by the Huskies ends there with that bucket, and it's 24 to 7. Wade guarding, guarded by Duncan Tell, pulls it up. Kenny Collins outside the three point line. Now up top to call Morgan. Taylor looking. Nobody moving, and Sophie Taylor now with it, dribbled behind the back, top of the key. Eight seconds on the shot clock, drives in, puts it up, and an offensive foul called. Like she got there a little late and to the side, but they get the offensive foul call, and it's the first on Taylor. Now Shannon Jones checking in for HBU. 5'10", junior guard from Crosby. Duck and tell. Gets it over to Briscoe. Briscoe driving towards the free throw line. Dumps it off into uh, Kayla Thomas for the layup. One minute to go here in the first period. Takara Wade bringing it up for the Huskies. Wade with 20 seconds left on the shot clock. We've got a foul inside on Kayla Thomas. I mean, check that. It's going to be Annalise Briscoe. Correction. Foul foul going to have free throws coming. Now Amanda Johnson will be at the free throw line. Huskies have been in a double bonus for quite a while now. And gets the first one to go. Now Johnson, second one on the way, and good. 49 seconds remaining. UNO gets it up quickly. Duncan Tell on the far side in front of the Huskies bench. Now three-pointer on the way by Malone, and good. Now Privateers into double figures, 26 to 12, with 35 seconds to go. About six seconds the difference between the shot clock and game clock. Get it down to Johnson. Johnson, the baseline pull-up jumper is off the window and just can't get it to go. And now the Privateers with 20 seconds left. Duncan Tell pushing it up. And a foul called on HBU. Not, that one's on to Car Wade. Not the worst thing that could have happened right there. Is the Privateers are not in the bonus. Only the fourth foul on HBU, so they have to inbound it again with just under 17 seconds left. So now Briscoe to inbound. Now kicked by Johnson. You have to reset the game clock again to where it was. It should be 16.58 left. That's what it was before. Now each team is going to go back to the bench. So I got to reset the game clock to 16.58. So the Huskies leading 26 to 12 here. Just about 17 seconds left. Huskies went on an 18 to one run to take control of this game. They led 18 to three at that point. Now UNO has kind of regrouped a little bit to get back in and keep the game from getting out of hand here in the early going. It's now 26 to 12. 
UNO with the ball. So now DeAndre Thomas to inbound. Gets it to Duncan Tell. On the far side of Thomas, drives in, pulls up. Had it knocked away momentarily, under 10 seconds now. And Kayla Thomas looking for somebody. Malone driving in, and a foul is going to be called on Taylor called Morgan. Trying to get the block on Malone. Didn't get a piece of the ball, got a piece of Malone. Now Malone, who has four points at the line for the Privateers. That one is up and no good. Huskies. Malone makes this one. Gets the ball back with just under three seconds left. That one is up, no good. Rebounded by Carl Morgan, and the quarter will end. The Huskies leading it by 14 as we go to the second period here at Sharp Gym. We'll be right back here on the Husky Sports Network. It would be great if human beings were great at being human. And if all of mankind were made up of kind women and kind men, it would be wonderful if common knowledge was knowledge commonly known. And if the light from being enlightened into every heart was shown. It would be glorious if neighbors were neighborly and indifference a forgotten word. It would be awesome if we shared everything and being greedy was absurd. It would be spectacular if the golden rule was golden to every man. And the good things that we ever did was everything that we can. Treating others like we'd like to be treated has always been our guiding principle. Of HBU Athletics. Back here at Sharp Gym, just about ready to start the second period. HBU with a 26-12 lead after the first. Take a look at those first period stats. Huskies shooting 75%, 9 of 12 from the field, 7 of 8 from the free throw line, including the lone three-pointer was good from Taylor Call Morgan. And Sophie Taylor leading with six points, Call Morgan with five. For UNO, 5 of 15 from the field, 1 of 4 from the three-point line. Kayla Thomas and Kyla Malone with four points apiece. The starters back out there for the Privateers here to start the second. Duncan Tell and Bruce, who has two fouls. And Shania Woods. DeAndre Thomas. Now Duncan Tell with the... Tried the fadeaway jumper, but ended up traveling, and it's Husky's ball. And also Whitley Larry out there for the Privateers. Valdez Crater driving to the right side. Now gets it to Johnson in the corner. Back out to Valdez Crater, three-pointer. The fingertip on it by DeAndre Thomas. Got a little piece of it to knock it off court. Another rebound to the Privateers, and Duncan Tell bringing the ball back up. And Duncan Tell, far side in front of the Huskies bench, and now shot up by Larry. He's no good and rebounded by Kennedy Collins. So Valdez Crater, Shannon Jones, Taylor Call Morgan, Kennedy Collins, and Amanda Johnson on the floor for HBU. Jones driving in and is fouled. Fouls on Whitley Larry. That's her first. Now Shannon Jones looking to get on the board for HBU. First one on the way is off the front of the rim and no good. Now 
Jones a shot up off the backboard, no good, and rebounded by Shania Woods. Duncan Tell to the far side, hands it off to Bruce. Bruce driving in, puts it up off the glass, no good, too strong. And the rebound by Larry, and she's fouled by Call Morgan. Got to bring Lauren Calver back into the game. And Woods will inbound under the basket. Inbound to Duncan Tell up top. Woods shows the ball to Collins, driving in, puts it up off the glass. It's no good, but a foul called on Collins. And Woods came into the game averaging 14.1 points per game. Has yet to score, but looking to change that here from the free throw line. First one on the way is no good off the back iron. It brings Kirienko back into the game for Collins. So now Woods, second free throw on the way is also long. Now up top to Johnson trying to get it to Valdez Crater. Knocked out of bounds by Duncatel. Huskies will inbound on the side. Just beyond about three-quarter court. Valdez Crater to bring it up. Score hasn't changed a minute and a half into the second period. Johnson driving baseline. And another foul on Bruce. That's going to be her third. She had both hands on Johnson as she drove to the basket. Now we're going to have a sub in for the privateers. Coella Pimpton back in, and Bruce will sit down, likely for the rest of the half. Picked up two quick ones in the first and a quick one here in the second. Kirienko, double team, spins out, and has it stolen by Duncan Tell. Pushing it up the floor quickly, driving in, and dumps it off to nobody and out of bounds. Trying to get a foul call but didn't get it and passed it to nobody. Still 26-12. Nobody scored here in the second period. Now that's Crater with Duncan Tell guarding her. Far side now driving in and a foul called. Another reach in on the privateers and that one goes on Duncan Tell. That's her second. That'll bring Alyssa Quixley back in for UNO. Amanda Johnson inbounding in front of the UNO bench. Gets it to Valdez Crater in the corner. Pull-up jumper is long. Rebounded by Jones and a foul called. That one's going to be on DeAndre Thomas. Just grab the arm of Jones. As she went up, first one on Thomas. And a couple of free throws for Jones. Jones, first one on the way is no good. Second one is also no good and still no score after two minutes here in the period. And each team having their chances from the free throw line. That one's up and off the front iron, rebounded by Valdez Crater. Megan up quickly, crosses the timeline to Jones in the corner. Johnson drives to the top of the key. Gets it to Kirienko, looking in, spinning to Calver, lays it up and in. And no, it pops out. There's a lid on each basket. Lauren Calver laid that one off the glass, and that one went halfway down and popped back out off the rim. Now Sophie Taylor back in, and Kyla Malone in for UNO. And Amanda Johnson to inbound on the baseline. Kirienko gets it to Taylor at the free throw line. 
He's trying to look for Calvert cutting to the basket, had it tipped and stolen, and now he's UNO backs the other way, quickly lays it in, and now the scoring drought by both teams is broken as the Privateers cut the Huskies' lead to 12. Johnson driving, gets it to Taylor, far side, three on the way, and good. The answer by Sophie Taylor, the Huskies two for two from deep in this game. Now lead back up to three on the way by Quixley Long, rebounded by Valdez Crater. Huskies leading by 15 now. Taylor gets it, trying to get it to Johnson, who is wide open underneath the basket, but a good play to knock it out of bounds by UNO. Six fifty-four remaining, 29-14 Husky. Johnson to inbound from the corner. Now gets it to Calvert. Calvert wanted to go inside to Kirienko and good coverage by Woods, but now Taylor drives in, lays it off the glass and in. So all five Husky points coming from Sophie Taylor here in the second period. She has 11, the leading scorer in this game. And quickly driving in, kicks it back out to Thomas. Thomas pulls up for a jumper, no good. And Calvert has the rebound. Taylor pushing it up, and now Thomas comes in, gives her a shoulder struggle, and now reaches in. No fouls called at all. Taylor pulls it back up, puts it up, no good. And the rebound to UNO. Now to Quixley. Has Taylor run by her and pulls it up and puts it off the glass for two. So still a 15-point lead for HBU with just about six minutes to go. Now to Kirienko. Now Kirienko fouled by Woods. Second foul on Woods. So with six minutes to go, already the fifth foul on UNO. Kirienko with the first free throw and it's good. So now we'll see Jana Thomas-Reed for, for the first time for the Privateers, and Takara Wade checks in for Amanda Johnson for HBU. Second free throw on the way from Kirienko is no good, and rebounded by Malone. And Pimpton gets it to Thomas, driving in, Kirienko cut her off, but gets it to Quixley for two. Quixley with six points here for the Privateers, all six here in the second period. Far side and then over to Wade. Thought about a three, pulls up for the jumper instead and rattles it home for two. Now Thomas Reed up top looking to Quixley now. Now the three-pointer on the way by Thomas, no good, rebounding by Kirienko and Valdez Crater back up quickly the other way. Surveying the court, pulls it back. Now spins, drives in on the baseline, reach in by Thomas Reed. Now getting it down to, to Calver down low and off the glass and off the rim. And the rebound back, UNO the other way quickly. Drives in and has it stolen by Wade and now Sophie Taylor back up the court. Now Taylor trying to drive in, split the defense, but a blocking foul called. And that one goes on Pimpton, and that'll send Taylor to the free throw line. So immediate timeout here with 4.47 to go, HBU 34, UNO 18 here on the Husky Sports Network. Here's a toast to all you Caniacs. You are ever faithful aficionados of premium, fresh, never ever frozen chicken fingers from Raising Cane's. Keen connoisseurs of Cane's crispy, extra long, premium crinkle cut fries. You who are dedicated to the made fresh daily cane sauce that twirls tongues in a tastefully tangy tango. Topped off with a little slice of heaven from the goodness of the griddle. We toast you all from Raising Cane's. One love.
The body is incredibly powerful. It's so nimble and fluid, but sometimes we push it too far. That's when you need the strength of Memorial Hermann and our body of affiliated orthopedic specialists. With our renowned Ironman Sports Medicine Institute, they not only get your body back to where it was, they get it to go further. It's what makes us more than just hospitals. We are a body of experts. Memorial Hermann, advancing health. Russell Dunn back here at Sharp Gym and the Huskies enjoying a 16 point lead. It's about halfway through the second period. Sophie Taylor will be at the line shooting too. Taylor leading all scorers in this game. She has 11. First one on the way is good. Second is no good. 35-18, Huskies. 4.40 to go, and now Franklin the other way, quickly driving it back to the near side. And we got reach in on Wade. Amanda Johnson back in to car away to out. Now to Thomas near the corner. Gets it back out to Franklin. Gets it back to the top of the circle. Dribbles far side, driving in, lays it off the glass. No good, and the rebound comes back to her, but then popped out and comes to Valdez Crater. Megan the other way, pulls it up. Now has Amanda Johnson, three-pointer on the way, and good. 20-point lead for HBU. Three for three from three-point land for the Huskies today. They lead at 38-18 with just about four minutes to play. Now a handoff to Quixley. Quixley driving in, puts it up, has it knocked away, and Taylor comes away with it, driving up the sideline. Now Valdez Crater goes up the baseline, lays it off the glass, and in. Now 3.38 to go in the second. Quixley, top of the key. Thomas, now over to Thomas Reed. Shows the ball, pulls it back up. Now Malone kicks it back out to Thomas. Driving in on Taylor, lays it up off the window and in. Huskies doubling up the privateers. 40-20 to 20 with 3.16 left. Valdez Crater driving the far side. And Franklin just all over. And a foul, and that'll send Valdez Crater to the line for a pair of free throws. This game could be very different. The Huskies have been better from the line. Only one of six. First one is good. To make, excuse me, make that 10 of 17. New Orleans is one of six. Okay, they'll call Morgan back into the game for HBU. And Kayla Thomas in, as well as Annalise Briscoe for the Privateers. Valdez Crater, another free throw coming, and it's good. Makes them both back up to a 22-point lead for the Huskies. Briscoe driving, pulls it back out. Now Franklin at the top. Gets it to Malone, and it's a travel. Shuffled her feet, it's a turnover. The ninth turnover by UNO, five for HBU. Taylor driving in, and another foul call. The privateers using their hands to defend more than their feet and end up Reaching in and bumping. It's led to a boatload of free throws here for HBU in the first half. Taylor shot on the way and short off the front iron. Quickly coming back in for the Privateers. Taylor with 12 points. Another free throw to go and make that 13. 
2.55 remaining. 23 point lead, largest of the game for HBU. Far side, Franklin with Johnson guarding her, goes baseline, puts it up, wild shot. And then I believe it's going to be a foul on Valdez Crater. Cut in under Briscoe, going after that rebound. It'll be the privateer's ball underneath the basket. Kirienko comes out, Collins in. It'll be Briscoe to inbound. Now Briscoe gets it to Malone. Now kicks it back out to Franklin. Franklin drives to the far side. Dribble hand off to Quixley, down low to Kayla Thomas, and the foul called on Collins. That'll send UNO to the line with the bonus. First free throw by Thomas is no good. Privateers now one of seven from the line. Come in shooting 57.6% from the line for the season for e as a team and misses this one. One of eight now. Colin Morgan can't track down the rebound. Quixley has it, pulls up, and that one's no good. Collins with a rebound and over the back on Malone. Another foul. And free throws coming up for HBU. Now Kennedy Collins going to the line. Shooting only 33% from the line this season, four of 12. She'll have a pair here. Huskies leading 43-20, 2.26 to go here in the first half. And Collins gets that one to go. Another one on the way, and good. 25-point lead now for the Huskies. Up top to Malone. Gets it to uh, cutting Briscoe off the rim. And grabbed by Valdez Crater and tied up by Thomas. And it's Huskies ball on the jump ball. Sub in for HBU. Natalia Guarda coming in for Colm Morgan. Valdez Crater to bring the ball up. To Johnson in the corner, down low to Collins. Spins around, dribbles, and that one's blocked by Thomas out of bounds. 18 seconds left on the shot clock. Amanda Johnson to inbound under the basket. 2.01 to go on the game clock. Now gets it in to Collins. Drives in, gets it out to Guarda. Short jumper is good. Natalia, without a 14-footer, gets it to go. And the Huskies leading 47-20. Now Briscoe looking inside. Now gets it down to Thomas and knocked away by Guarda. But the foul called on the reach in. Now another missed free throw by the Privateers. One of ten. Now Thomas with another one on the way. And that one's no good. Inside to Collins, spins and had it blocked by Thomas, but it was Malone fouling her before that. More free throws on the way. Huskies are 14 of 22 from the line. And the Privateers are 1 of 10. So 
Bobby Kennedy Collins. Two for two from the line today. And that one's good. That one's up, and Kennedy four for four from the line. And Jana Thomas-Reed back in. One twenty-eight remaining here in the first half. Franklin puts up a three and puts it in. First three-pointer of the game for the Privateers. It makes it 49-23. Just over a minute to go here in the second. Valdez Crater gets it to Collins. As Thomas Reed on it now drives baseline. And the pair of UNO teammates collide. Looks like Quixley and Thomas knock knees. Fortunate both of them get back up. And a tripping foul called on Thomas. Didn't think she had much choice after colliding with Quixley. And here's Collins again, two more free throws. Puts the first one in. 33% <laughs> coming into the game. She's knocked down five straight. 50-23 now, 102 remaining. That one is no good. Just under a minute to go now. Quixley in the corner. Gets it back out to Franklin. Down low to Thomas. A dribble and puts it up. Guarda called for the foul. And Thomas will go to the line. So Thomas at the line now, where the UNO is only one of ten. And the first one's good. Thirteen points now for Thomas. Excuse me, five points. Second one. Off the front of the iron and rebounded by UNO. 48 seconds left on the game clock, 27 on the shot clock. Free throw line jumper by Thomas Reed is no good. And the rebound comes out to Quixley. Now reset of the shot clock. And 35 seconds left on the game clock. About nine seconds difference. Franklin driving, puts it up, has it blocked by Guarda. And it goes to Amanda Johnson coming up the sideline. Gets it to Taylor. Shot clock is off. 22 seconds to go. Taylor gets it to Valdez Crater. 15 seconds now. She's just inside the midcourt strike. 10 seconds to go. Valdez Crater looking in. Guarded by Franklin. Gets past the screen by Guarda. Kicks it out to Johnson. Three-pointer on the way is short. Rebounded by Guarda. And Valdez Crater throws it up. And no good. The Huskies now lead it by 26, 50-24 as we head into halftime. Uh, Huskies getting out to a hot start with a ton of free throws here in the first half. Shooting 17-26 from the line. We will come back after this break here on the Husky Sports Network. Huskies leading at 50-24 over New Orleans heading into the break. Going to school at Houston Baptist University was an excellent choice. As the official credit union of HBU, Houston Federal Credit Union is focused on helping you to continue to make great choices. HFCU will meet all your financial needs by providing the personal attention and variety of services you deserve. Stop by any of our convenient locations or visit our website, www.houstonfcu.org, and experience the credit union difference today. Dogs up. Thank you. 
I'm Robin. And I'm Chris. We're the brothers behind Firehouse Subs. Back when we were firemen, when it came to food, we said it better be something good and and a lot lot of it. That's what you get at Firehouse Subs. Take our hook and ladder sub. Smoked turkey breast, Virginia honey ham, and Monterey Jack cheese, all steam heated and piled high on a toasted sub roll. Our way beats their way. If you don't agree, it's free. You're going to cover that, right? My money's on the sub. Love the confidence. (laughs) Firehouse Sub, founded by firemen. The International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers in Houston believe keeping America's families strong is vital. We believe Houston competes in a global economy, so we must construct buildings to last. We believe training for 10,000 hours counts for something. Most important, we believe in each other. We don't know what the competition believes, and most times, neither do you. To be the best, hire the best. The time is now to hire IBW electricians. The real story is I'm in here every morning and uh, have sampled just about every kolache that they make here. Bacon, egg, and cheese on wheat for me, and then the rest is for the office. So, yes, I'll pick up every Friday. I'll stop by here and pick up some for my group. Well, I used to think it was just fruit-filled stuff, and then I came here, and there's eggs and bacon and cheese and all kinds of good stuff in there. It's like a whole breakfast and a bun. It's great. (laughs) It's always a good thing if you can eat healthy and not know it. <laughs> when you drive down the street looking for something to eat, you're going to pass five places to buy a sandwich, six places to buy a burger. There's only one place you can get a kolache, and that's Kolache Factory. It's delicious. You're going to have people that try to copy you, but they're not going to do it as well. We know what we're doing. We've been doing it for 25 years. We do it the best, and our success proves that. Houston's own Kolache Factory, the freshest, highest quality, best-tasting kolaches in town. Over 50 Houston-area locations and a proud partner of HBU Athletics. Russ Renault back here at Sharp Gym and the HBU women's basketball team leading New Orleans by a score of 50-24. to a score to report from New Orleans. The HBU men are playing at UNO today. They are underway. They're now at halftime. The Huskies trailing the Privateers 36 to 21. The Privateers doing a good job of bottling up Ian DeBose, the Huskies standout sophomore guard. He only has four points. Oliver Lynch Daniels leading the Huskies with six. Philip McKenzie and DeBose each with four. Tell you what's coming up for HBU women's basketball here in the next couple of weeks. Huskies will be off this coming Wednesday before returning to action at Nichols on Saturday, January 12th. Part of a doubleheader, HBU men will follow that game. Lonnie King will have both of those games for you right here on the Huskies Sports Network. HBUHuskies.com. Huskies back home for two straight, though, after that. January 16th, uh, it's a Wednesday night. Veterans Appreciation Day against Abilene Christian right here in Sharp Gym. And then the following Saturday, January 19th, 2 o'clock start. Doubleheader with men's basketball against Sam Houston State. So Huskies... Even though they're home for three of four, it doesn't feel like it with that day off and that long road trip in between. Take another break here on the Husky Sports Network. We'll come back and take a look at the second half stats before getting underway here in the second half. Again, your score here at halftime. HBU 50 and New Orleans 24 right here on the Husky Sports Network. Coming to you in Living Cola. The joy of cola. Pepsi Cola. Pepsi Cola. Jump in. Just enjoy the ride. Joy of bubbles, joy of fun, joy of Pepsi on your tongue, greatest 
Introducing Pepsi Cola from the wonderful folks who put the R in Cola. Son. Call me Ed. Do you know how fast you were going, Ed? You mean exactly? Yes, exactly. No, not exactly. How fast? Fast. Fast, sir? You were going very fast. Fast is my job, officer. Fast is your job? Yes, sir. What kind of job? I deliver, sir. What do you deliver? The world's greatest gourmet sandwiches. I thought Jimmy John's had the world's greatest gourmet sandwiches. Jimmy John's does have the world's greatest gourmet sandwiches. So you deliver for Jimmy John's? I deliver for Jimmy John's. So do you always deliver fast? I always deliver fast. How fast? I deliver subs so fast you freak. It's not smart to freak a cop, son. You didn't order Jimmy John's sub, sir. So if I did order a Jimmy John's sub, when would I get it? Now. What if I don't want it now? Then call later. Or I could pick it up myself. Or you could pick it up yourself. Because I'm pretty fast too. I'm sure you are, sir. Very fast. I believe you, sir. Faster than you. No way, sir. Way faster. In your dreams. You're dissing me, son. No, sir, I'm polite. Fast and polite. Very polite and very, very fast. Is that a challenge, son? No, sir, it's a fact. Let's burn rubber, kid. It wouldn't be fair. Why not? You've got a fully blown V8 Camaro with slicks and headers. So? I've got a 10-speed bike. I'll let you off with a warning. Jimmy John Subs, an official sponsor of HBU Athletics. Your heart sounds good, Daddy. Regular checkups are good for many things. No tumors. Uh-oh. Your colon sounds funny. But they can't detect everything. At the Memorial Hermann Wellness Institute, get a full body scan, heart scan, or virtual colonoscopy to help you find problems early enough to do something about them. I'm glad you're okay, Daddy. Schedule your scan today. Call 713-222-CARE. Memorial Hermann for your whole life. At Raising Cane's, we know lots of people want the recipe for our delicious cane sauce. But we'll take the secret to our graves. You know, our founder, Todd Graves. He's the guy who figured out which blend of spices makes every drop of sauce totally tasty. Of course, it helps that our cane sauce is made fresh every single day, no matter what. And Todd's also the guy who won't spill a secret recipe. But you can dip in it all you like. Raising Cane's. One love. Russ Reno back here at Sharp Gym, and we'll take a look at the first half stats. Leading score for the Huskies, and overall, Sophie Taylor with 13 points, along with three rebounds. Taylor, four of six from the field, including one of one from three-point range, and four of six from the free throw line. You got four players with five points, Veronica Kirienko, Amanda Johnson, Taylor Call Morgan, and Kennedy Collins. Leading rebounder for the Huskies is Megan Valdez Prater. She has six to go along with seven points and a pair of assists. For UNO, leading scorer, Alyssa Quixley, six points there. In the second period, six points in a row to start it off for the privateers. And then Kayla Thomas has five. And DeAndre Thomas and Kyla Malone with four apiece. Huskies shooting 57.7% from the floor for the game. 15 of 26, three of five from three-point range. And 17 of 26 from the free throw line, 65.4%. UNO shooting 30% from the field, 10 of 33, 2 for 7 from three-point range, and only 2 of 12 from the free throw line for 16.7%. The Huskies out rebounding the privateers 26 to 18. Huskies with 10 assists, and the privateers with 5. Huskies taking care of the basketball a little bit better than the privateers as well. Six turnovers to UNO's nine. So we've got about four minutes left here in the break. We will take another commercial break, come back, and get back to the action here at Sharp Gym. You're listening and watching Huskies basketball here on the Husky Sports Network. It would be great. 
great if human beings were great at being human. And if all of mankind were made up of kind women and kind men, it would be wonderful if common knowledge was knowledge commonly known. And if the light from being enlightened into every heart was shown. It would be glorious if neighbors were neighborly and indifference a forgotten word. It would be awesome if we shared everything and being greedy was absurd. It would be spectacular if the golden rule was golden to every man and the good things that we ever did was everything that we can. Treating others like we'd like to be treated has always been our guiding principle. Marriott Houston West Chase, a proud partner of HBU Athletics. Tammy and I have been going steady since high school. Tammy and Tommy, two peas in a pod, as they say. We have all the same friends. We like all the same things. I mean, we practically even have the same name. But there's one thing we could just never agree on. Soda. <sighs> I have been begging him all these years to just try Pepsi, and I knew he would change his tune. Yeah, yeah. So, finally, I had him take the Pepsi taste challenge. And go on, tell him what you told me, Tommy. I'm a Pepsi man. Mmm. Right? Gosh, isn't Pepsi so good? I tell you what, I don't know why I didn't try it sooner. Me neither. It's so crisp and refreshing and bubbly. Like me. Like you. I'm always right. She's always right. <laughs> All across the South, people are choosing the great taste of Pepsi. Take the Pepsi Taste Challenge and let your taste decide. If you drive around in Texas, dude, you could be a polluter and that's just rude. But there's a way to help keep the air clean. Gotta take care of your machine. It's the one with wheels. Speedometer. This message goes out to both the sexes. Take care of your car. Drive clean across Texas. Keep your engine tuned. Keep air in the tires. Make friends with a mechanic. That's a guy with pliers. Please don't speed. That pollutes to the max. Don't sit there and I'll turn it off. Relax. Read the paper. And meditate. Combine errands if you can. Carpool. Fill up with gas after dark when it's cool. If you see some car spit and now smoke, they're messing with the air. And that's no joke. The message is simple. It shouldn't perplex us. Take care of your car. Drive clean across Texas. It doesn't matter if you drive a Ford or a Lexus. Take care of your car. Drive clean across Texas. Brought to you by the Texas Department of Transportation and the Texas Natural Resource Conservation Commission. Drive clean across Texas. Welcome back to Sharp Gym. Russ Renault here on this Saturday afternoon. The Huskies enjoying a 26-point lead after the first half. Sophie Taylor leading the way for the Huskies with 13 points. As we said, 4 of 6 shooting from the field, 4 of 6 from the free throw line, and 1 of 1 from three-point range. Megan Valdez-Crater, 7 points, 6 rebounds, and a pair of assists. 5 points each for Kirienko. Johnson, Colm Morgan, and Collins. Leading scorer for UNO, Alyssa Quixley with six. So here to start off the second half, be the Huskies on defense. Takara Wade, Megan Valdez, Crater, Veronica Kirienko, Lauren Calver, Sophie Taylor on the floor. And uh, for the Privateers, Jada Duncan Tell and uh, Whitley Larry, DeAndre Thomas. Shania Woods and Treya Bruce back on the floor after picking up three quick fouls in the first half. Now, a nice play with Larry cutting to the basket. Can't get it to go, and the Huskies come down with a rebound. Wade back the other way. Taylor wide open. Passes up the three, drives baseline off the window. Too strong. Kirienko there to clean it up off the glass for two. Now Duncan Tell bringing the ball across. Now Larry swings it over to the far side to Thomas, driving in and slapped away and out of bounds. It remains with the Privateers. Bruce to inbound. 
Gets it out to Duncan Tell. Gets it to Bruce in the corner. Three-pointer on the way. Short. Rebounded by Wade. Wade coming up the left side. Husky's going right to left here in the second half towards the home basket. Next to the home bench. Calver back to the basket. Gets it over the top to Kirienko. And too strong off the glass. And the rebound to the Privateers. Duncan Tell quickly back the other way. Back to Bruce. Three-pointer on the way and good. Treya Bruce, plagued by foul trouble in the first half, gets her first points of the ball game. Crater, now that Crater was trapped, and the Huskies rush it up the floor. Kirienko off the hands of Calver, out of bounds, and a turnover to the Privateer. Still a 25-point lead for the Huskies. Duncan Tell down the three-point line to Woods at the free throw line. Short and a rebound to Wade. And the ball slapped away, stolen. Duncan Tell the layup on the fast break. And a sloppy start here for the Huskies. A little bit of a full court press. Now Calvert to Kirienko stops, gets it back to Calvert and the layup short. And the ball is out of bounds off of the privateer. Taylor inbound the corner. Valdez Crater with a three, and it's good. And a chance for a four. And she is fouled in the corner. That one's going to be on Larry. Megan Valdez Crater knocking down the three and getting knocked down by Larry. A chance for the four point play. Valdez Crater, free throw up and no good. And she came into the lane too quickly. She went for the rebound, knew that she was going to miss it, and came across the free throw line too close, but. So it doesn't get the four-point play, but still got three out of it. And the Huskies lead by 26, 7.50 to go in the third period. Double figures now for Valdez Crater. She has 10 points. Far side to Bruce. Bruce driving in, gets it back to Larry. Jumper on the way is up and good. Valdez Crater has it tipped and into the Huskies bench. The ball will remain with HBU. Wade with the ball. With Taylor. Taylor driving in. And off the window and in. Spun it in off the left side of the glass. And Sophie Taylor has 16. Now the Woods lays it up. Too strong. Kirienko with a rebound. Wade there to help her out. Back the other way. Seven minutes to go. Behind her back dribble. Gets it over to Valdez Crater. Three-pointer up and short. Rebound to Thomas. Duncan Tell driving in. Off her hip. And no good. Rebound. Tipped away by Kirienko, but right to Thomas. Now Woods. With the shot, too strong, rebounded again by UNO. Pair of offensive boards here for the Privateers. Duncan Tell with a three. That one's on the way. No good, rebounded by Calvert. Valdez Crater quickly back the other way, but doesn't have the numbers. Would have been one on three, and she pulls it back. To Taylor at the free throw line. Driving in, now tries to get it to Wade, and knocked out of bounds by the Privateers. Now Kennedy Collins coming in, replacing Kirienko. Quixley will come in for UNO. She'll replace Trier Bruce. Wade in, bound underneath the Huskies basket. In the, over to Collins. They double teamed in the corner. And in the corner is Wade. Taylor open for three, and that one is off the side and rebounded by Woods. 
Woods, the Privateers' leading scorer, has yet to score about halfway through the third period now. Stolen by the Huskies and weighed back the other way. Gets it up to Valdez Crater. Driving in and scoops it up. No good. Rebound by Taylor. Off the window. Couldn't get it to go on the reverse layup. Rebounded by Woods. Woods to Quixley. Quixley driving the baseline. It gets it out to Woods. Woods driving in. Puts it up. Blocked, but Larry trying to clean it up and off the front of the rim and rebounded by HBU. Wade driving to the far side. Comes in, pulls up the jumper. A little floater, no good. Woods with the rebound. Woods the leading rebounder for the Privateers with eight. Leading rebounder for the game. And that's Duncan Tell driving in and drawing the foul. It's now Duncan Tell to the line. She has four points in this game, two of six from the field. 0 of three from three-point range. This will be her first free throw of the game. Got three changes coming up for the Privateers and one for HBU. Duncan Tell's free throw is no good. So Mana Johnson coming in for HBU. She'll replace Wade. Then Asia Woods. Kyla Malone. And Quixley in there. So Asia and Shania Woods in the game now for the Privateers. That free throw is no good. And Collins rebounds it. UNO just struggling from the free throw line today. Two for 14. Collins trying to get it into Valdez Crater. She eventually does. Now Crater trying to get to cutting Taylor, and Lauren Calver saves it. To Taylor in the corner. Puts up a three on the way. No good. Rebounded by Malone in the corner. Calver has her trapped in there. But she gets it out. Duncan Tell back the other way. Down low to Woods, spins, turns off the basket and in. Woods finally on the board, her first two of the game. Up top to Collins, kicks it back out to Taylor. Taylor resets. Calvert diving down to the block. Up top to Collins, Collins swings it over to Valdez Crater. And three seconds called on Lauren Calvert. And Rahima Franklin back into UNO. We have a timeout on the floor, media timeout. 4.05 to go in the third, HBU 57. UNO 33 here on the Husky Sports Network. Tammy and I have been going steady since high school. Tammy and Tommy, two peas in a pod, as they say. We have all the same friends. We like all the same things. I mean, we practically even have the same name. But there's one thing we could just never agree on. Soda. <sighs> I have been begging him all these years to just try Pepsi, and I knew he would change his tune. Yeah, yeah. So, finally, I had him take the Pepsi taste challenge. And go on, tell him what you told me, Tommy. <sighs> I'm a Pepsi man. Mmm. Right? Gosh, isn't Pepsi so good? I tell you what, I don't know why I didn't try it sooner. Me neither. It's so crisp and refreshing and bubbly. Like me. Like you. I'm always right. She's always right. <laughs> All across the South, people are choosing the great taste of Pepsi. Take the Pepsi Taste Challenge and let your taste decide. Rushmano welcoming you back to Sharp Gym here on the Saturday afternoon. Southland Conference play, the second Southland Conference game for these two teams, HBU and UNO. Each dropped their opener on Wednesday night. So one team is going to get its first win in conference play this season. Quixley driving in, puts it up off the glass and in. She has eight. A little press by the Privateers. Taylor gets it up to Call Morgan. Taylor off the glass and in. 
Huskies led by as many as 26. The lead is at 24 now. Ball comes out. Valdez Crater almost had a steal. Quickly up top, driving top of the key on Taylor. Dribble handoff to Franklin. Jacks off the three and gets nothing. And Asia Woods comes down with a rebound, gives it to her sister, Shania. Shania turns, spins, jump hook, goes up and good. Valdez Crater to bring it up. Husky's trying to beat the press again. They do. Johnson has it. Kicks it back out. The Huskies set up the half-court offense. Just under three minutes to go here in the third now. Huskies leading by 22. Valdez Crater drives in, and she's fouled by Franklin. Two fouls on Franklin. The teams have cleaned it up in the foul department. Cole Morgan with an easy basket off the inbound. A little short, eight-foot jumper. Huskies lead at 61-37. 235 remaining in the third. And about this time in the first and second period, the Huskies were already in the double bonus in the privateers. Really cleaning up the foul situation here in the third. Woods trying to look into Malone. She drives in, spins, spins again. Kicks it back out. Six on the shot clock. Franklin with a three off the iron and call Morgan with a rebound. Valdez Crater here on the near side setting up the play. Both post players come up high. Now call Morgan drops back down low. Johnson fouled by Asia Woods. Only the third team foul here in the third. Huskies with just one. Now Jada Duncan tell back in and Rahima Franklin checking out. Two minutes exactly to go. Valdez Crater with the ball here on the near side beyond the three-point line. Taylor at the top. Gets it to Valdez Crater. Driving baseline. Puts it up and in. The little floater. The finger roll for Megan Valdez Crater who now has 12 points. Now Malone with a drive, Woods with a rebound, and she's fouled and will go to the line to shoot two. The foul on Taylor Call Morgan. That's her third. So Shania Woods at the line. Oh for 2 from the line today. 2 for 7 from the field. 4 points, 9 rebounds. All four of her points coming here in the third. First free throw is on the way. And good. Veronica Kirienko in. Taylor Call Morgan out for HBU. Second one on the way is good, 63-39, 136 to go in the third. Taylor inbounding on the baseline, gets it up to Amanda Johnson. Amanda Johnson crosses half court and dumps it off to Valdez Crater. Johnson swings it over to Taylor, trying to look inside to Collins, gets a screen and is fouled. The block by Asia Woods will send Sophie Taylor to the line to shoot two. Taylor, the game's leading scorer at the line to shoot two. She has 16 points now to go along with four rebounds and five assists. Megan Valdez Crater is out. Car Wade comes back in. Taylor with another free throw coming up. And she knocks that one down as well. Quixley. Hands it off to Duncan Tell, bringing it across. Huskies matching their largest lead of the game at 26. 
Quixley tries to go up, and Collins blocks it, but out of bounds. And the ball stays with UNO. Pass to Woods. Woods inside. He's got a hand check. A reach in on Collins. Fouls on the floor. Duncan Tell inbound underneath the basket. Shania Woods pass it back out to DeAndre Thomas. Just inside the three-point line, a jumper on the way by Malone. Bounces off the rim three times, almost got her own rebound. And it's out of bounds to UNO. Now, Pep Flavo back in, checking in for the first time for HBU. 5'11 junior guard from Rotura, New Zealand. And we've got a foul on the Huskies. Flavel che checking in and picking up the quick foul and a pair of free throws coming up for Woods. Got a violation on UNO, so now it's going to be only be one free throw for Woods. Lane violation. So the free throw's on the way and good. So now it's 65-39, 45 seconds remaining in the third. Taylor gets it up to Johnson. Got numbers three on two, but pulls it back out. Now double team and has it stolen away. And Taylor almost gets the ball back. Ball thrown down to Quixley. Thinks about a three, pulls it down, drives in, puts it up and foul. Label pick, picks up another foul. And now that's the fifth on HBU. And free throw is coming up for Quixley. UNO outscoring the Huskies 16-15 here in the third. Make that 17-15 after the free throw. Makes it 65-41. 25 seconds to go in the third period. And the second one's good. Quixley now in double figures with 10 points to lead the privateer. 20 seconds to go. Wade with the ball, drives it up the middle, lays it off the flavor. Too strong. Kirinko there off the window and in. 12 seconds to go, and UNO coming up the other way. Duncan Tell, top of the key, five seconds. Now Quixley on the far side. Three seconds in the corner, now one. And three on the way by Woods is good at the buzzer. Count it. The three-pointer by Shania Woods is good, and that cuts it to 67-45 as we head into the fourth period. You're watching the Husky Sports Network on YouTube. International Brotherhood of Electric Workers, Local 716 in Houston, get up for work each day because we believe building schools to code matters. Because building Houston's hospitals correctly saves lives. Because training for 10,000 hours makes a difference. That's why we get up, because we want to make a difference. To be the best, hire the best. IBEW, where skill and value lock arms. The time is now to hire IBEW electricians. You can always count on Houston Federal Credit Union to be there for you because once a member, always a member. Take advantage of all their products and services to help you in all your financial milestones, such as purchasing your first car, planning your dream wedding, buying a home, and planning for retirement. Stop by any of their convenient locations or visit their website, www.houstonfcu.org, and experience the credit union difference today. Dogs up! Russ Renault back here at Sharp Gym in Houston, Texas. The second conference game 
of the year for HBU and UNO. Huskies leading at 67-45 as we begin the fourth period. Amanda Johnson to inbound the ball at the midcourt stripe to Carl Wade. Waiting on it in the backcourt. So UNO trimming the lead ever so slightly, outscoring the Huskies 21-17 in the third, but the Huskies still leading it by 22. Kirienko driving in, lays it up off the backboard and in. Veronica Kirienko now with 11 points for HBU. Duncan Tell, top of the key. Gets it to Thomas on the far side in front of the UNO bench. Johnson called for the block. Veronica Kirienko, that last basket now in double figures. 11 points, eight rebounds for the Husky. Shania Woods with 10 points in that third quarter for the Privateers, nearing a double-double. 10 points, nine rebounds. She's been held scoreless in the first half. Duncan Tell with a three on the way in and out and rebounded by UNO. That was Thomas down on the block. Now Duncan Tell. Gets it over to Shania Woods. Swings it over to Quixley. Brings it back towards the middle. Woods spins on the baseline. Gets it back out. Quixley baseline spins again. And kicks out Malone. Three-pointer on the way. And it's good. Kyla Malone knocking down the three. And she has seven. Wade guarded by Duncan Tell. And the blocking foul called. On UNO, Jada Duncan tell with her second foul. Johnson inbounding next to the HBU bench. Gets it to Sophie Taylor. Wade pulls up for the jumper. It's no good. Rebound by Woods. And that's a double-double for Shania Woods. Ten points, ten rebounds now. Quixley, three in the corner, and it's up and good. Timeout called by HBU. We'll take it with them. Huskies 69, Privateers 51, 8.33 to go in the fourth here on the Husky Sports Network. Four points by Sheraton. Always a great stay. Everything you need. Plus, extras you love. All for a great rate. Over 150 hotels around the world. Travel the way you like. Check us out at fourpoints.com. The UNO coming back with pair of three-pointers here in the fourth period have now got it back under 20, trailing by 18 with 8.33 to go here in the fourth period. UNO outscoring HBU 27-19 here in the second half, 6-2 here in the fourth. Trailed by as many as 26, 26 at the half and much of the third, but Privateers with a little run here to get it, whittle it down to 18. 69-51, 8.33 to go. Huskies with the ball. Takara Wade to inbound. She gets it to Sophie Taylor. A little bit of pressure from the Privateer. Wade gets it across and has it stolen. Thomas up to Bruce. And pulls it up for three. It's on the way. No good. Taken down by Quixley. Puts it up and in off the glass. Now a 16-point lead for HBU. Amanda Johnson in the corner, pulls up for three, has it off the back iron, Quixley comes down with a rebound, Bruce pushing it back up the floor. Thomas, open three, is no good, and rebounded by Kirienko. Wade across the timeline, dumps it off to Taylor on the far side, to Johnson in the corner. Now Wade... Gets it over the top to Kirienko, and it was too far underneath the basket. Woods came down with the rebound, and Kirio reached in. Second team foul on the Huskies. Second personal foul on Kirienko. 
69-53, to go. Thomas drives around the screen from Woods, up off the glass. It is short and rebounded by Kirienko. Wade across midcourt. Through the legs, dribble, and then over to Valdez Crater. Johnson in the corner. Gets it back to Wade again. Now over to Valdez Crater. Drives on Bruce, and the foul called on Bruce. That'll be her fourth. Just under seven minutes to go. Husky leading by 16. Team second at the line for the Huskies. The UNO has trimmed 10 points off that halftime deficit. Valdez Crater, the first free throw. Is in. Huskies now with 70 points. Bruce checks out, as does Thomas. That'll bring Briscoe and Duncan Tell back in. Valdez Crater, another free throw upcoming. Second one is also good. Duncan Tell pushing it up the floor. Looking down low to Woods before getting it to Quixley. Quixley spins. And a hand check on Wade. Sub for the Huskies. Shannon Jones coming in. Wade has picked up her fourth foul. Briscoe gets it in Duncan Tell. Over to Quixley. Quixley driving in on Taylor, steps in, and fouled by. Let's see if it's on Kirienko. It is on Kirienko. That'll be a pair of free throws for Quixley. It's a third foul on Veronica. Quixley, the free throw is good. Now Malone out and Larry back in. Quixley the leading scorer for the Privateers. 16 points off the bench. 6 of 10 from the field. 1 of 2 from 3 point range and 3 of 3 from the line. Second one is good. 16 point lead for HBU. Valdez Crater gets it into Johnson. Amanda back up the floor, dribbles it out, and kicks it back out to Taylor. Valdez Crater just inside the midcourt strike. Kirienko dumps it down to Jones and has it slapped away. Battle on the floor and a jump ball, UNO ball. Now Kyla Malone in and Whitley Larry out for the Privateers. 6.15 to go, 71-55 Husky. Briscoe looking inside, dribbled, now hands it off to Shania Woods. Now a pass down to Briscoe, the layup is up and good. A foul and a chance for a three-point play for UNO. Foul is on Shannon Jones. And Larry back in and Malone back out. Briscoe with a chance for a three-point play and get the Privateers within 13 with six minutes to go. Up and no good. A rebound to Kirienko. Taylor gets it to Johnson in the corner. Three-pointer up and good. Amanda Johnson ends that run by the Privateers and gets the Huskies back up by 17. Woods. Kirienko guarding her. Quixley with Taylor guarding her. Quixley looks back in to Larry. Dumps it in and off the window and in. Larry. 
Valdez Prater gets it up to Taylor. Now back to Megan and swings it over to Amanda Johnson. Johnson with the shoulder fake and kicks it back out to Crater. Johnson to Kirienko in the corner to Valdez Crater. Four on the shot clock. Kirienko with a three. They call it a two and a shot clock violation on the Husky. Leading by 15 with 4.51 to go. Taylor Cole Morgan comes back in. Shannon Jones is out. We got a media timeout. The Huskies leading 74 to 59, 4.51 to go here on the Husky Sports Network. Your heart sounds good, Daddy. Regular checkups are good for many things. No tumors. Uh-oh, your colon sounds funny. But they can't detect everything. At the Memorial Hermann Wellness Institute, get a full body scan, heart scan, or virtual colonoscopy to help you find problems early enough to do something about them. I'm glad you're okay, Daddy. Schedule your scan today. Call 713-222-CARE. Memorial Hermann for your whole life. box combo with the lemonade, please? At Raisin Cane's, we do one thing, and we do it better than anyone else. So why not let our food do the talking? We hand-cut our lemons daily. They're fresh squeezed and mixed with 100% natural cane sugar. Love in the window. Raisin Cane's, only the best chicken finger meals. One love. Back at Sharp Gym, Huskies leading by 15, 4.50 to go. The privateers have trimmed 11 points off of a 26-point deficit at halftime. Scrum for the ball on the miss, and the ball out of bounds and still belonging to UNO. Huskies led by 26 at the half, but were outscored by four in the third and have been outscored by seven here in the fourth. Inbound to Briscoe. Duncan Tell with the ball. Shania Woods thinks about a three, pass it up quickly, driving in, and lays it in for two. Back to a 13 point deficit. And then the pass back to Amanda Johnson. To call Morgan in the corner. Gets it to Sophie Taylor. Now Valdez Crater at the top. And a three-second call. Another turnover for the Husky. The privateers have saved some clock by rolling it up. Duncan Tell crosses it up on Valdez Crater. Kirienko with the backhanded block. He's got a piece of it. And the Huskies come back with it. Just under four to go now. 74-61. Valdez Crater. Dribbling up top. Gets it to Call Morgan. And a whistle down low. And we've got a foul called on Malone. Fourth. They got third team foul on the privateers. Amanda Johnson on the far side. And blocked by her own player, Taylor Call Morgan, on the screen. Valdez Crater just inside the half court strut. Gets it to Kirienko. It was a tip. And now another foul on Briscoe. The UNO had done a good job of not fouling the Huskies this half. For a ton of free throws in the first. Now uh, four team fouls on the Privateers. Now Huskies inbound it to Johnson. 
Johnson drives to the near side. Paul Morgan spins, looking for Kirienko. Can't get it to her. And a travel called on Paul Morgan. Husky's just trying to hang on here over the last 3-12. Duncan Tell gives it off to Briscoe. Around the moving screen from Larry. Larry rolling to the basket. Short on the layup and the rebound by Carl Morgan. But stolen by Duncan Tell. Driving in, drives around Kirienko and has it blocked by Veronica. Big play there by Kirienko and Taylor driving it up. And the offensive foul called on Sophie Taylor. Don't know about that one. And Duncan Tell wasn't set. Gives the ball back to UNO with 2.45 to go. Huskies leading by 13. Duncan Tell to inbound. Duncan Tell looking, gets it to Shania Woods. Quixley driving in and puts a shoulder in to call Morgan. The offensive foul called on Quixley. Another turnover. Both teams in the bonus now. With 2.41 to go. Huskies with the ball, leading by 13, 74 61. Taylor to inbound. So have Larry in her face, and the full court pressure applied by UNO. Taylor gets it into Johnson. Johnson driving up, pulls it back out, gets it to Valdez Crater. Megan bringing it back out. Johnson in the corner. Driving in on Duncan Tell and call for the arm bar, and that'll send Johnson to the free throw line. Third foul on Duncan Tell. Uh, as we said, each team in the bonus. Johnson's first free throw is good. Johnson now three of three from the line. Has nine points tonight, this afternoon, rather. And this one is up and good. Double figures for Amanda Johnson. Fourth Huskies player in double figures. Down to Woods, looking to drive on Kirienko. Has it blocked, and a jump ball is called. Huskies ball, Kirienko with the block and the jump ball. The Kirienko with the double-double, 11 points, 12 rebounds, three block shots. Leading scorer, Sophie Taylor, 17 points, five rebounds, six assists. Megan Valdez-Crater with 14 points, six rebounds. And Amanda Johnson just with 10 points. Sophie Taylor brings it across. Now just about two minutes to go, Huskies with a 15-point lead. So just under two minutes now, 10 on the shot clock. Taylor over to Call Morgan. Call Morgan gets it down to Valdez Crater, pulls it back out, jumper on the way, short. Rebounded by Call Morgan, puts it back up and in. Huskies up by 17. They staved off the comeback by UNO and now lead it by 17 with a minute and a half left. Duncan Tell will dribble it into the corner in front of the UNO bench. It's over to Quixley. Step back three-pointer on the way and good. Quixley says this one isn't over yet with 1.23 to go. It's a 14-point lead for HBU. Valdez Crater trapped in the corner. Now dribbles out of it. And the Huskies have numbers the other way. Johnson to Kirienko. Lays it up. No good. And a rebound by Duncan Tell and a foul by Kirienko. That'll send Duncan Tell to the line. So everybody on the floor for HBU now has double-figure points. 17 for Taylor, 11 each for Kirienko and Cole Morgan. 14 for Valdez Crater and 10 for Johnson. Duncan Tell at the line. He has four points this afternoon. That is no good. And what could have been for UNO had they had a better game from the stripe. 
9 of 24 in this game. Huskies 23 of 33 from the line. That one's good. Carl Wade coming back in, checking in for Carl Morgan. 78-65, 110 remaining in the game. Full court pressure by UNO. Huskies get it into Valdez Crater. She's around Duncan Tell, trying to draw the foul. Now pulls it back out. One minute remaining here in the game. Valdez Crater putting a shoulder in the backside into Duncan Tell, trying to get the foul call. Now stripped away by Larry and stolen by UNO. They come back the other way. Now dumps it off to Woods and a foul called on Johnson. Shania Woods at the line. Double-double. 10 points and 11 rebounds. All 10 points coming here in the second half as she knocks down the free throw. So now an 11-point lead with 44 seconds to go. Huskies once led this one by 26. A timeout called by HBU. 30-second timeout. We'll take a quick break and come back here on the Husky Sports Network. I didn't believe I could do it. The weight seemed too heavy. My competitors were too fast. I lacked motivation, and then I found the Hulk t-shirt. I transformed myself and believed that I could conquer the competition. Now everybody takes me serious because I demand them to. If I can do it, you can do it. Under Armour Alter Ego, transform yourself. Huskies ball here with 44 seconds to go and an 11 point lead. Valdez Crater inside the half court stripe. Gets it over to Wade. Huskies trying to run out some clock and finally a foul called and Valdez Crater will go to the line. Megan, five of seven from the free throw line today. Four of nine from the field. She has 14 points, six rebounds, and a pair of assists. Also a pair of steals. So 78-67, 32 seconds left, and Valdez Crater's first free throw is no good. Second one is on the way, and good. 12-point lead, 32 seconds to go. A timeout called by UNO. We'll keep it right here and give you an update from New Orleans and the HBU men's basketball team is going to overtime. Huskies storming back after trailing at halftime by 15. Huskies outscoring the Privateers by 15 themselves in the second to tie it up 60-60, heading into overtime in New Orleans. A career game for Philip McKenzie. 16 points and eight rebounds for the Huskies sophomore. Willing the Huskies back into the game and tying it up and sending it to overtime. Probably not gonna be the case here. Huskies with a comfortable 12 point lead. 32 seconds left. It was uncomfortable for a little bit as the Huskies led by 26 at halftime and the Privateers were able to cut it down to as little as 11 and now back down to 11 again, but probably to make it 10. 79 69, 26 seconds left. As I said, Huskies led by 26. UNO got it down to 11, but the Huskies were able to answer with a couple of baskets, get it back to up to 17. Once it got back up to 17, once it got back up to 17 with about less than a little bit less than two minutes left. That was probably the ball game. Unless a miracle happens here for the Privateers. They've done a great job of getting back into this game. Now cutting that lead to 10. It was just the, the awful day from the free throw line really did the Privateers in today. 
79-69, 26 seconds ago. Wade gets it into Valdez Crater, and she's fouled. The Huskies, 24 of 35 from the free throw line today. And the UNO, 12 of 27. Valdez Crater, first one's up and good. Huskies reaching 80 points here now, 80-69. Another free throw on the way. That one's good, and Megan has 17. So now another timeout. We'll take this one here on the Husky Sports Network. If Raising Cane's one love was rock music, they would rock harder than any rock band ever. Their tours would sell out before they were announced. Their backstage parties would be the stuff of legend, attended by unicorns and the head of Louis XIV. Hotel rooms would trash themselves out of respect. But Raising Cane's one love isn't rock music. It's making the perfect chicken finger meal every single time. Raising Cane's one love. <laughs> Twenty-four seconds remaining here at Sharp Gym. Russ Renault welcoming you in here on the Husky Sports Network. Thank you for joining us here on this Saturday afternoon in Houston. HBU with an 81-69 lead, holding off UNO here down the stretch. Privateers with a great job getting back into it and have the ball down 12 with 24 seconds remaining. Duncan Tell looking to inbound it and finally gets it in to Malone with a three-pointer on the way, short. And a foul called. It's going to be on Takara Wade on the hole. And then it'll be free throws upcoming for Briscoe. And then Takara Wade is fouled out. So that'll bring Taylor Call Morgan back into the game. And Wade finishes this one with five points. Five points, excuse me, four points, two rebounds, three assists for Takara. Now Briscoe at the line, shooting two. First one's good. And the second one also good, back to a 10-point deficit. Shania Woods checking in, and another timeout by HBU. Take it with them. Come back here on the Husky Sports Network. Houston Federal Credit Union and Houston Baptist University have joined forces to put the howl back in your finances. HFCU offers several products and services such as auto loans, mortgages, and credit cards. And HFCU has a financial education program, Elevate, which is tailored to helping you increase your financial knowledge. Stop by any of our convenient locations or visit our website, www.houstonfcu.org, and experience the credit union difference today. Dogs up. Huskies ball with a 10-point lead. 21 seconds left here in the game. Johnson to inbound, just to my left, and Sophie Taylor in the corner. And not fouling. And Taylor about turns it over. Call Morgan now with the ball. They foul her, but the call's not, did not get the call on Call Morgan, and they get it to Johnson, who is fouled. It's a much better situation for HBU. And... Alyssa Quixley called for the foul, and she fouls out. That's the Privateers' leading score, Quixley, with 22 points today. Really led that charge back for the Privateers. Johnson at the line, shooting two. First one is off the front of the rim, but bounces in. Johnson, the second is good. 10 seconds to go. 12 point lead for the Huskies. Bruce in the corner, passes up the three now. Duncan Tell, no good. Kirienko the rebound, 
and a jump ball called. And it, possession arrow to UNO. One second to go. Duncan Tell to inbound it. Bruce gets it, puts up the three, and it's good at the buzzer. That'll look good on the stat sheet. So they cut it to single digits at the end with that three, 83-74. If that three holds up, they're going to look at it. And both teams shaking hands as the officials look at it, and they count it. 83-74 as Bruce puts in the three at the buzzer to make this one look a lot closer than it really was. Their final score, 83-74. We'll be right back with the post-game show here on the Husky Sports Network. Are you a graduate of Houston Baptist University? Did you know the value of your degree increases when you actively participate in the HBU Alumni Association? Your Alumni Association actively supports the growth, retention, and ranking of our school by our scholarship efforts. Husky Alumni Network volunteers actively work to recruit the best and brightest to HBU, and we promote and support programs intended to build a growing network of people committed to quality, higher Christian education through our alumni scholarship efforts. We also work to strengthen the bond between our university and the community, and we're your connection to over 18,000 fellow alumni, mostly in and around the Houston metro area. Log on to learn more about our mission and your privileges and benefits at hbu.edu slash alumni. And find us via social media on Facebook at the Houston Baptist University Alumni Association page and on Twitter and Instagram at hbu underscore alumni. But no matter how you do it, connect with the HBU Alumni Association because a strong alumni base equals a strong HBU. The real story is I'm in here every morning and uh, have sampled just about every kolache that they make here. Bacon, egg, and cheese on wheat for me and then the rest is for the office. So yes, I'll pick up every Friday. I'll stop by here and pick up some for my group. So. Well, I used to think it was just fruit filled stuff and then I came here and there's eggs and bacon and cheese and all kinds of good stuff in there. It's like a whole breakfast and a bun. It's great. <laughs> It's always a good thing if you can eat healthy and not know it. <laughs> when you drive down the street looking for something to eat, you're going to pass five places to buy a sandwich, six places to buy a burger. There's only one place you can get a kolache, and that's Kolache Factory. It's delicious. You're going to have people that try to copy you, but they're not going to do it as well. We know what we're doing. We've been doing it for 25 years. We do it the best, and our success proves that. Houston's own Kolache Factory, the freshest, highest quality, best tasting kolaches in town. Over 50 Houston area locations and a proud partner of HBU Athletics. Russ Renault joined now by head coach Donna Finney. And Donna, you really had to hold off the charge from UNO there in the second half. What was the difference between that second half and the first? We uh, stopped playing team basketball. You know, I thought we did a really good job in the first half of executing our offense, what we've been working on the last few days. Second half, we just we started playing individual basketball, and you can't win games like that. So. Yeah, I mean, the good thing is you still come out with a win. You did some great things in the first half that you can build on. And it looks like the, the UNO really cleaned up their foul situation in the second half. You took advantage of them at the free throw line early on in the first half. Didn't have so much in the second half, so what stands out to you in that regard? Well, I mean, I think that I talked to the officials, and they were talking about the hand checking that was going on, and it was from both teams. We didn't shoot as many free throws in the second half. We only shot 13, and we shot 26 in the first. So, you know, we weren't attacking as hard. And I think, you know, it was almost like we talked about playing to win the game, and it, it was like we were playing not to lose the game. Um, so we got to learn to do a better job of closing games out and continuing to attack teams and not changing the way that we play. Um, and, and we talked at halftime about, you know, responding and how we respond to adversity, and I don't think we did a very good job of that in the second half. Right, but you did get, come out. Uh, get, once UNO cut it down to 11, you got a couple of big baskets yeah. there to, to really kind of put it away. Once it got back up to 17, yeah. it was kind of all over from there, but uh, some good things that the players you did have on the floor, everybody finished with double figures, it's very balanced, it's a good attack, that it's, you know, as long as they got those 
the, the, from the free throw line did a great job to, to close it out as UNO didn't do as good a job of a free throw line today. It could have been a much different ball game. Yeah, and I think we had five people in double figures. And the story of our season is going to be our depth. And we have to have everybody show up every game. And so that's a positive, having, you know, Nika got a double-double. And, I mean, 26 minutes giving us what she gave us and playing as smart as she did. It's like she's the player that we we see every day in practice and now she's bringing it to games. And, you know, there's not another post in the league like her. And so if she can continue to play like that and build on that, it just makes our team so much stronger defensively. Yeah. Well, Coach, it's, it wasn't as easy as it, as it looked like it was going to be at halftime, but a win nonetheless and, and, a, and a good way to, to get this, cut, this first week of conference started. Yeah, and, you know, it's great that we have this next week to prepare we're going to go to Nichols. Nichols plays so hard, you know, for 40 minutes. They're really well coached. And, and I think New Orleans did the same thing. And I said to our team at halftime, this team is not going to fold over. You know, this league is so tough. And every game that you play, you're going to be, you know, attacked for 40 minutes. So you got to be ready. And we got to figure out how we can play hard for 40 minutes because we didn't do it on Wednesday and we didn't do it today. Um, but our, our great first half allowed us to stay in the lead. But um, we got to kind of get back to the drawing board and figure out how we can get a good 40 minutes together. Well, it's still, still a win, Coach. Enjoy it as much as you can. Thanks for, thanks for joining us here. Thank you. All right. That was head coach Donna Finney. This is Russ Renault from Sharp Gym. And we want to let you know the next broadcast coming your way on the Husky Sports Network. Lonnie King will have a doubleheader. The HBU women's basketball team playing at Nichols next Saturday followed by the HBU men's team. Lonnie will have the call, audio only on the Husky Sports Network. I'm Russ Renault saying goodbye from Sharp Jim, and we'll see you next time.